our judges ready? Our second contestant this afternoon hails from CD East High School, and he'll be doing a dramatic interpretation. Here is Jeremiah Christian. My name is Jeremiah Christian, 10th grade at Central Dolphin East High School. Now performing, What to the Slave is the 4th of July by Frederick Douglass. Mr. President, friends and fellow citizens, the papers and placards say that I am to deliver a 4th of July oration. Even though I shall speak from the slave's point of view, I do so not with despair, but with hope. The fact is, ladies and gentlemen, the distance between this platform and the slave plantation from which I escaped is considerable. And the difficulties to be overcome in getting from the latter to the former are by no means slight. That I am here today is a matter of astonishment as well as of gratitude. This for the purpose of this celebration is the 4th of July, the birthday of your national independence and of your political freedom. The freedom gained is yours. The signers of the Declaration of Independence were brave men. In their admiration of liberty, they lost sight of all other interests. They were peacemen but they preferred revolution to peaceful submission to bondage. They were quiet men, but they did not shrink from agitating against oppression. They believed in order, but not in the order of tyranny. With them, justice, liberty, and humanity were final, not slavery and oppression. Fellow citizens, pardon me. Allow me to ask, why am I called to speak unto you today? What have I, or those who I represent, to do with your national freedom? The sunlight that brought life and healing to you has brought stripes and death to me. This 4th of July is yours, not mine. You may rejoice, I must mourn. Fellow citizens, above your national tumultuous joy, I hear the mournful wail of millions whose chains, heavy and grievous yesterday, are today rendered more intolerable by the jubilee shouts that reach them. My subject, then fellow citizens, is American slavery. Standing with God and the crushed and bleeding slave on this occasion, I call in question and to denounce with all the emphasis I can command everything that serves to perpetuate slavery. The great sin and shame of America. It is wrong to make men brutes, to rob them of their liberty, to keep them ignorant in their relations with their fellow men, to flay their flesh with the lash, to hunt them with dogs, to sell them at auction, to sunder their families, to starve them into obedience and submission to their masters? Oh, had I the ability, I would pour out a fiery stream of biting ridicule and stern rebuke. For it is not light that is needed, but fire. We need the storm, the whirlwind, and the earthquake. The conscience of the nation must be roused, and the hypocrisy of the nation must be exposed. And its crimes against God and man must be proclaimed and denounced. What to the American slave 
is the 4th of July. To him, your celebration is a sham, and your sounds of rejoicing are empty and heartless. <clears throat> God hath commanded all men to love one another, yet you notoriously hate in glory in your hatred any man whose skin is not colored like your own. Fellow citizens, the existence of slavery in this country brands your humanity as a base pretense and your Christianity as a lie. In conclusion, notwithstanding the dark picture I have presented this day of the state of the nation, I do not despair of this country. There are forces in operation which must inevitably work the downfall of slavery. The arm of the Lord is not short, and the doom of slavery is certain. I therefore leave off where I began with hope. Thank you. Again, ladies and gentlemen, with a dramatic interpretation, Jeremiah Christian. <laughs> 